come on my YouTube every so often, you know, I love saying that phrase, damn. Howdy everybody, what's up, it's Ryan here, um, you know, might know me as Ryan Rex Rex, maybe Ryan Slash Less, if you've been around a couple years, you might know me from the Demo Team Podcast, maybe you know me from my old band, Stay Still, maybe you know me from my current band, The Angel Like Expression, who knows what you know me from. Welcome to my YouTube channel, hell, you probably only know, like, one video on this channel, and it's that, like, fucking Dracula dead and loving it, freaking, uh, Lady Demetresque fucking video. <laughs> I don't know how to do intros. I don't. I don't. Anyway, I wanted to come here today, kind of talk to everybody about some new music that's going on, um, talk about two bands in particular that I just really enjoy and wish to share my opinion on their new new latest releases that have come out. Um, there's also uh, just general music news, maybe just give you a little update on me. Um, Still doing the Demo Team podcast. We got lots of cool stuff. We got a Brandon Ewing. Uh, Ewing? Brandon Ewing. I'm going to be here all day trying to pronounce stuff correctly. I'm, I'm famous the world over for mispronouncing shit. I just asked Atria. Did I do that right? <laughs> anyway, um, current music news. I mean, uh, everybody had a scare. Um, it would be considered today if you're on the west uh i mean it would be considered yesterday if you're living on the west coast but uh circus vibe kind of like scared everybody uh downgrading their uh patreon i mean i wouldn't say so much downgrading as like you know maybe well i mean they're lowering the price you know instead of twenty dollars a month you just pay five dollars a month you get access to all of their stuff and just the way that that Patreon was worded kind of just uh, worried everybody to the point where uh, the rumor circulated that the band had broken up. And, uh, I mean, that's kind of scary. You know, you think about it. I mean, I can remember when Circus Survive was formed after Anthony Green left Say Ocean, or Say Ocean. If you're, uh, you know, hip to the pronunciation that uh, some know. But, uh, fortunately, um... I mean, Anthony Green was reached out to on Twitter, and, that, and it was asked, hey, you know, despite how that Patreon letter seemed dismally worded, uh, Anthony Green said that Circus Survive is fine, so hey, we don't have to worry about anything. Um, though, I mean, you know, reason for speculation, what with Anthony Green having a new band, LS Dunes, which is actually really cool. It's like a mix mash of members from Thursday, Coheed and Cambria, My Chemical Romance, and Anthony Green on vocals. I mean, who wouldn't be excited about that? I mean, that's pretty big news. I mean, it's got everybody excited. They have announced a tour. There's dates out there, man. Go look it up. That's it's good stuff. But, um, I mean, in other music news, I mean, what else is there? I mean, um, Sharp Tooth has just uh, announced a new uh, single. And it's out now. It was released today, which is still today because I'm on the West Coast. It's like 9 p.m at night right now and I've spent the whole day listening to it and I gotta say I enjoy it I enjoy it I know there is some uh drama surrounding that um tease I mean I think it's kind of silly a little bit that uh I mean bands get new singers all the time bands decide what they how they announce that kind of stuff I don't think anything shady was being done in regards to that. I think it's a little distracting from the fact that the dudes just released new music. They got a new singer who is awesome. I mean, I don't know why anybody would be confused as to, you know, the contrary. I mean, you know, band wants to continue using their name. They've decided not to use any of the old albums that the old vocalist was on due to their request that they just don't play the music because the lyrical messages were very strong and important to the former vocalist Lauren and that's fine I mean that seems I mean if a band honors that request I think it would be more shady if the band was just like nah she said we're just gonna keep doing that I mean I think that seems a little more shady and that's not what happened here I mean the band wants to continue on using their name the brand that they've built over the last 10 years I mean, they've written all the instrumentals and stuff like that. I mean, that's kind of how bands work. I mean, that's, I mean, you can think of any band and any band that's been around longer than 10 years. And this band's been around, you know, they've been releasing albums since 2015, demos around 
2014. So it's just like one of them things where you're just kind of like, well, if the band wants to continue on using their name and just play on their new discography, I mean, that's just a rebuilding experience. And it's like, you can't like knock the quality of something that you've built, you've poured your heart and soul into. And if you wish to continue on with a new voice and a new image and new, you know, coat of paint on the Sharp Tooth brand, I mean, what's, where's the problem with that? And I mean, at the end of the day, drama aside, I think the most important part is the music which is kind of just what people need to focus on, I think. I think drama kind of like, you know, oversaturates this scene, no matter what core genre you think about. Drama tends to be one of those things that drives and pushes a narrative forward, and it doesn't look like Sharp Tooth is digging their teeth into drama. It seems like they released a new single, and they're moving forward with their new vocalist, who's super awesome i feel like as a terms of replacement like uh great like i don't see where the issue is um it's definitely a different delivery of systems and if you're familiar with backswing or solemn judgment you will have seen that this vocal is marissa has uh developed over time and, and has like a wealth of talent to offer to the sound that uh sharp tooth has designed around her and it's great music i'm twisting guitar riffs and like heavy breakdowns and like you know there's a little vocal piece uh like soft-spoken distorted vocal spoken word type like interlude bridge and it, it just involves lots of like high octane riffs with a lot of like energy to deliver it's something i definitely would enjoy hearing in a live setting and seeing how it translates with a crowd because it just feels like a really good ass kicking song i would definitely recommend like check out the new sharp tooth if it's not for you it's not for you i mean it's through pure noise records i believe uh i mean if you're a fan of bands like knock loose like this is like your wheelhouse like it definitely feels like it's geared more with more of a higher pitch scream than the previous singer who was more kind of like guttural and lower octane range. And it's like a lower octave range. Oh God. So in summation, definitely check out the new freaking Sharp Tooth. I would, I mean, drama aside, like drama never really interests me. And I don't feel, I feel like with both parties making a statement, I don't think it's all it's cracked up to be. I mean, bands want to work, bands want to release music, bands want to just create something with their brand. I mean, it, it doesn't seem that complicated. And while the band has promised not to play any of the old material, I mean, that should just like open our hearts and minds to possibly enjoying some new stuff. I mean, what's the, where, where's the harm in that? Who gets hurt? in listening to some new music. I mean, the old music's still there online. You're welcome to listen to it. And the messages are still there, and the art lives on. I mean, it's, it's a shame that the band won't, you know, won't play any old stuff, but it's just like, it's a new chapter. And in, in new chapters, you know, you find new, new music, new feelings, new vibes, and I think going into it with an open mind could be for your benefit. And, like, who's that hurting if you're just going to enjoy some new music? Music at its core is meant to be found by people who need it. And I feel like this new song, I don't think I, you know, I think the new Sharp Tooth song is definitely worth checking out. And if you haven't checked it out, definitely do so. I didn't ask to be here. Sharp Tooth, listen to it. What's the worst that can happen? I mean, do yourself a favor, listen to it. Moving on, um, there's another track I would like to talk about. Uh, Takers and Leavers uh, through Thirst String Records has just released Indigo, a brand new song. Um, if you're like a big fan of, uh, like I like to compare them to Shreddy Krueger. I don't know if anybody, like I don't know if that's like the most topical band to compare uh, an artist to in 2022. But uh, I mean, imagine if Sayosin had like under oath breakdowns with a little mix of like some Sky Eats Airplane Attack Attack beep boops. That's what this new track feels like. It's a really good track. Indigo, um, there's a lot going on in it. I feel like there's a soft sweetness in the vocals. The instrumentation can go from swirling, like high crashing crescendo, like ass breakdowns that are just awesome 
to like these soft somber parts they're kind of like dreamlike and they bring you into a trance and it's like it's super good stuff and if you're not a fan if you've never checked out takers and levers before <coughs> if you've never checked out takers and levers before i definitely recommend it they're a great band they've been around for years and they've done like some super awesome stuff it's been fun watching them grow over time and like bring new essence new sounds and new designs to their music i feel like the only thing sorry i had to swallow i feel like the sky's the limit for this band like i feel like takers and levers in like five ten years you'll probably hear that name a lot more it'll become a more common thing for you to like see on your wall on your timeline on your feed whatever social media nonsense that you go into i feel like that band is like they're well on their way on to doing great stuff. And if you haven't checked out Indigo by Takers and Levers, I definitely recommend it. Like, there's great stuff there. There's just awesome stuff for you to like listen to and unpack. I mean, if you're a fan of like, like traditional metalcore from like the early 2000s where it like just gets really gnarly and heavy, but you like that like kind of like emo post hardcore softness, like there's definitely a lot here. And like they pepper in a little bit of that 2010s, late 2000s, like beeps and boops and like <laughs> keyboards and synths that are just really good. Like takers, levers, sharp tooth, check out their new stuff. Like definitely, I know this camera's been jumping around and all the cuts and edits and stuff. Like I, I am not like a master fucking at making videos. I, I don't know if that's evident to you. I mean, I, I got some like, reach in some places i guess but like video editing content and all that is very new to me and i i you know thank you for bearing with me on this video i mean i'm not the most uh, fancy boy in the world when it comes to this stuff but i feel like one thing that i like excel in is just being able to talk and reach out and just connect with people that give a shit and if you've taken the time to watch this today i very much appreciate you taking the time i know uh the demo team podcast release schedule has been a little uh slow as of late and i thank you for uh participating in that way i know that's uh something that not everybody wants to deal with but like i rest assured like you know things are just like a little bit of a holding pattern while we just kind of like you know sort out stuff in real life. Like I'm doing this because I want to release content. I want to give you guys something. I want to give you guys anything you can just to like sink your teeth into and just listen and just have something to, you know, content. Everybody likes content. And um, I like to facilitate that any way I can. And I'm gonna try to be a little more active on my YouTube, be a little more active with like video content. I got banned on TikTok. <laughs> I mean, uh, what can you do? That's like the the video streaming place, and everyone's just like, "Ah, oh, make a new one." And it's just like, I'd rather be able to come back to that format like correctly. I feel like I was wrongfully banned. I mean, I didn't realize being on live video and talking about uh, the reefers and uh, putting water in my uh, my bong would be such a big deal. I didn't I didn't realize that would uh, harm anybody's uh, sensibilities. But, uh, I mean, is that so bad? I didn't do anything. Did, did I Did I offend you, TikTok? I apologize. I'm sorry. Please reinstate me. <laughs> I've been so kind. And I'd like to do it correctly. You know, I wouldn't want to, like, you know, sneak back in through the back door and not be welcome or re-blocked. I mean, banned. I mean, shit, dude. Like, I can't make that big. I'm rambling at this point, but I mean, this video was made just to give you little tidbits of musical like updates, uh, music I've been checking out, awesome bands. I mean, there's so much good music out there. I mean, that's off the top of my head, you can go check out the new Livid Noises. Bait and Switch is pretty sick. I mean, Lil Geronimo's Celebration is still on repeat. I love that. That album is like a big ol' like applause to those dudes for hanging through and just like releasing a really solid album through Spirit Vision and I'm super stoked to see what else little Geronimo has in the the, the chamber of the gun or whatever the heck they do you know whatever they uh, call that like wait 
for the new stuff. I mean, I'm sure they gotta have some awesome, awesome stuff. And I'm sure, I mean, if you guys have any recommendations for shit I should be listening to, I would definitely uh, love to have that. I mean, if you guys wanna give me some musical recommendations, I will gladly take them. I will gladly sit here and talk about the music. And if anybody wants to just like hook it up with some good music, like I am always down for some good music. But, um, I could sit here and ramble all day. You want me to sit here and ramble all day? I love rambling. I need to get used to sitting here and, like, talking to this camera and just being... Making faces like that. So people will watch my video. Because you can't watch videos on YouTube unless some dude's in the, the, the screen cap, the little fucking thumbnail going... Ah! Alright, that's all I got to ramble about. Uh, I hope you, this video finds you well, and I hope you have a great day. Take care of yourselves, world of tomorrow. I'm sure I'll chop this up and throw it on fucking reels or something, but I'm trying. I'm doing something, man. I gotta stay busy, and I like staying busy. I think the... I don't know. What do you guys think of the mustache? Is it too much? I mean, this little goatee thing, it doesn't grow that much, but I'm trying. I'm. Tr God said I can't have any beard or anything you know my genetics were just like nope not happening it's unfortunate but hey demo team podcast brandon ewing brandon ewing <laughs> demo team podcast we got one half a gold necklace we got well you know he was an attorney forever brandon's awesome it's a great episode i can't wait for y'all to hear it and how many times we mentioned matrix Re resurrections whatever that new matrix is called there's lots of good stuff in that video. If you haven't checked out the Phantom Figures episode, that's out. It has the basis of I Wrestled a Bear once. I mean, how awesome is that? He talks about I Wrestled a Bear once. Come on, how do I, how do I convince you to like check out the Demo Team podcast? It's a pretty cool thing, man. We're in partnership with Ghost Killer Entertainment, bruh. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and ramble. And, ah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying. I'm doing my best. This is a whole new thing to get used to. I gotta work. Jeez.